Good job using that scratcher. And hello everyone, welcome, welcome to today's new Pokemon card unboxing, which happens to be the new one. We have got Obsidian Flames. I cannot believe the time has come for another new set. Weren't we just, I could have sworn, I just got done and I know I was late to it because I had other things going on in my life in terms of editing and whatnot. But like, I just got done editing my Paldea Evolved binder build. Like I said, I realized it was like a couple weeks behind. However, I could have sworn I remembered on the Poke Collector website that it said that that set released in the beginning of June, which sounds about right, because I think it was around my birthday. It's only two months later. Don't we usually have like a good four months between sets? I don't know why, my brain always told me that sets were quarterly, except for, you know, like the holiday type stuff, like Crown Zenith and whatnot that gets sprinkled in, but it feels too soon. I still have so much to do with Paldea Evolved and even Scarlet and Violet that like getting another new set, I'll take it, but I'm not ready. <laughs> That being said, it is time to crack the seal on this bad boy. How many people do you think are gonna be saving this set purely because of Charizard? He is one of the main guys, and I have stayed almost entirely blind to this set. I feel like with most sets, I do try and go in blind nowadays, um, but I still would see a video or two and see at least the rares and the art rares or some of them that I'm gonna be hunting for. However, this one, all I know about this one is the Charizard cards. I know there's like a normal, like the Gyarados and Arcanine in the base set of Scarlet and Violet. And then, God, I haven't even figured out. I think it was Fortress. There was a Slow King and Dedenne in Paldea Evolved. I haven't pulled any of those yet. And now Charizard. Ch -ch -ch Charizard. He comes with a card and it's there's also a gold card. So I know of the like main card of Charizard being a crystal version, terrestrialized version, and also the gold card of him because you can't get past any thumbnails about Obsidian Flames without seeing those cards on a YouTube thumbnail. So, <laughs> I mean, listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm sure I put it on mine as well. <laughs> With all of that being said, let's go ahead and get to opening this booster box. We're gonna start off with Tyranitar here. Still haven't pulled that art rare. <laughs> Wasn't that one in Paldea Evolved? Um, either way, still haven't pulled that one of the majestic looking Tyranitar. I'm still just trying to get used to Scarlet and Violet in general in terms of Pokemon cards. I know, I, I have to open these packs delicately because I, I like to save them. I like to save one of each artwork, okay? But yeah, code card. There we go. Upside down code card for ya. And no pack trick. I am so excited to see these new artworks though. Let's see what this set is all about. I would assume it's gonna be fiery just because of the name of the set, Obsidian Flames. Uh, we got a little Meltan. There's some fire. <laughs> Looking pretty cute. Aw, these guys could definitely be friends. Yeah, they look very similar. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a long time. You have been demoted from usually you were a rare card. Flamigo, fun little artwork there. Bronzong, what do we got? We've got a crab brawler for a reverse. We have also got another reverse. It is a Swablu, so no art card in this pack. And then our first hollow is gonna be this guy, Palafin, which I guess I don't know super well. I knew of the Finizen dolphin Pokemon, and then I found out about him, and it's all sorts of, or it was all sorts of complicated in order to achieve that evolved form, and I was just like, I don't care enough. I'm never gonna have a full dex just in general, so I'm just now, I mean, there's a possibility I could go hunt a Pokemon down, like, yeah, I'll try and get it, or you know, if I come across one, yeah, let's fill up that dex, I'm gonna try and catch it. However, if you have to jump through all sorts of hoops and stuff and just, no, no not for me. <laughs> Maybe if it was a Pokemon I really, really wanted. Oh my god, look at the little Rowlet. <laughs> and a little north-south kind of a sign, I think, there. I know it's a Baltic bal toy card. Uh, but either way, Carvana. Oh, look at Lechonk. Cute. <laughs> 
cute! Look at Fungus! Look how cute! So colorful. We've got a Volcarona. We've got a cute Altaria. What are you doing in the water, buddy? You're a cloud. You belong in the sky. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Houndoom, there, that seems appropriate for the set. Very cool artwork of Houndoom. And then we're getting into our reverses. What is this? Is this a new artist? Oh my God, Bound Sweet, you are looking so cute. We have got that ball toy again, and then just another hollow. It's a thunderous this time. All right, well, we're not off to the best to start, but here we go. We have got one of my least favorite Pokemon ever created. Sorry, I just, it is what it is. I know people always ask about, oh, who's your favorite Pokemon? I wanna know you guys' least favorite Pokemon. I mean, for me, these car engine Pokemon, Bruxish stands out for sure. We've got a new clay baby of Lillipup there. Okay, very nice. We've got the crab brawler. I know I have, oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> His attack is slap slap. How am I supposed to go on after that? <laughs> oh, Charmeleon, of course, because Charizard is in the set. In the, he's in the snow. We've got Excadrill. We've got a Magnezone. I was about to say, we've got a haul, at least a reverse rare. Yay, but nope, just an uncommon for Magnezone. You've been demoted. We've got Poppy, very cute. And then, still just hollows, my friends. Oh, there we go. I always. I don't know, I like when the energy matches the hollow. <sighs> We're not doing so great. We have gotten officially zero hits, uh, considering the way that Pokemon does the hits now with the hollow being the least you can do in a, in a pack. Uh, so that's, that's pretty bad, my friends. But that's okay, maybe we'll turn it around. Maybe we'll turn it around. I have to imagine that that gold Charizard is the most coveted slash, oh, look how cute. Um, and a Charmander, of course, but I have to assume that's gonna be one of, at least one of the more expensive cards in the set. But I don't know what else I should be wanting to pull, you know? So, all right, we've got Rhyme here for a reverse. We've got Steeny for a reverse, and then, Um, that's okay, my friends. We are here to open packs and have a good time. It's true. It's true. It's true. So let's have a good time. You know, maybe the good stuff is yet to come. It's very possible that we're saving the best for last. And, you know, I do always say that's how I would prefer it. Oh, look at that Togepi. I feel a sneeze coming on. <sighs> <sighs> scary. That's an adorable little Togepi. I love that. Cute little Bonsley. You know, the, oh, what a gorgeous Pidgeotto. I'm biased. I love the original bird Pokemon. Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. Pidgeot's one of my favorites. Um, Pidgeotto, I really liked too, but um, a pretty majestic looking Dragonair. We've got Armor Rouge. We've got a Clay Doll, a Reverse Rare. Yes, let's get that hit pile started. We've got a barboach flinging dirt everywhere, and then we've got something cute, cute! Oh my goodness, yes, with the magic energy. Oh, look at Victini! Oh, that's adorable. We've got the sparklies on there. Oh my goodness. You're so cute. Ah, we finally got some hits. And not only that, we got a double banger. Very exciting. Double banger of a pack. I still am unsure if I've ever gotten a triple banger of a pack now that that's a possibility. You know, you could get a reverse rare and then you could get an art card and then you could get, you know, a, something better than a hollow. Um, we've got Dratini. I'm just so excited we got something, you guys. Uh, we got an Oddish, feeling fine. That's awesome. We've got the Finizen. We have got Herdier. I always want to do like a little bit of an accent. Herdier <laughs> or something, but Arvin. Why do I feel like we've had that before in a different set? 
He's definitely been in other sets. I don't know. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Uh, we've got a Stunfisk. And then we've got another Clay Bay Bay. Okay, they really went all for it. I feel like they've been putting like a good two to three Clay Babies in each new set that comes out, which I am not complaining about. We've also got a Rowlet from Kamiya. Yes, that's amazing. Love that artwork. And then a dark eye looking very cool with the matching dark energy there. All right. Alas, no hits in that one. But let's see if I don't even know this guy's name. So there's Varum, there's Revroom, and then there's the is that it? I don't Mm, I just remember it was the, you know, it was the, the final boss of the star grunts. Uh, Dolliv looking so adorable. What a cute time pole! Oh, love that artwork. We've got a cute little Sir Skit. We've got a Nomal. Hi, buddy. We have one of these guys. We've got Ortega. We've got Volcarona. We've got Altaria. Okay, we're starting to see some stuff that we've gotten before. We've got a Gloom for a reverse. We, okay, okay. I just wanted to check. I wasn't sure if we had any rares. <laughs> we don't. Uh, we've got a Houndstone and then Toga kiss! Look how cute that artwork is! Is that another new artist? Oh my goodness, look how cute! Alright, alright, alright. I mean, it's not a hit, but like, I'm gonna take it. That's adorable. <laughs> so, maybe, I don't know. I, like I said, I haven't seen anyone else open up the set yet, so do I have the worst booster box of Obsidian Flames? It's possible. So, someone has to, right? I mean, I know... In life in general, someone always has it better and someone always has it worse than you, yeah? But there has to be a bottom. Cutie patootie rocker of cute little waglet. <gasps> Umbreon, what are you doing in this set? Look how beautiful, what a gorgeous artwork, okay. Um, but yeah, surely there's gotta be an ultimate low for a booster box. Who got the worst? That's another beautiful uh, artwork. That doesn't look, the artwork doesn't look familiar. Is that another new artist? My God, I'm loving it. Like Chonk getting blown away. Very cute. We, oh, you evolved, wonderful. We've got an Oinkalone and then Lady with the hair. <laughs> Her hair was just, it was a lot. It was a lot to take in. I can only imagine the cosplays. How many wigs you have to put together. <laughs> to create that kind of volume in the back. But uh, here we go, my friends. Let's see if we can get anything. I'm really not feeling too lucky here, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see, we're still seeing some new artworks. Yes, one of my favorite artists, Narumi Sato. Oh, so cute. So, so cute. Cute little Vulpix. We've got a Houndoom again. We've got this guy, we've got Magnezone. All right, we've got a Larvitar nibbling on some dirt. Uh, we have also got a Bonsley just being in so A cat has knocked something over. <laughs> and then we have a Skizzer, Scissor, Sizor. Everyone pronounces it different. I'm pretty sure I usually just call him Scissor because <laughs> lazy. <laughs> Anywho, um, how are you guys doing? I hope everyone's doing well. Are we enjoying the new set? Were you just as surprised as me? I mean, I guess I knew. I did all the, I always pre-order these things. So like, I guess I knew when this was coming out. It just, it really struck me how quick this new set came out now that it's here in my hands. Um, Shuckle, what an adorable artwork. I am loving the artworks in this. They're really cool. They're really fun. I love, I mean, I've mentioned this before. I love that I've actually played the game so I can like recognize some of the places and things in the background that it's um, referencing and whatnot. Uh, it's, it does. It adds a sense of fun to it. Uh, we've got a tad bulb. Very cute for a reverse. We have got a Volcarona and then back from whence we came. Ah, not even, not even a, a like basic form art card. I still haven't got all the stars down, you guys. Is it a double gray star, double gold star, triple gold, triple gray? Is this and that? I mean, listen, I can understand change as a good thing. It can be. Well, sometimes it's just unnecessary and confusing. Um, adorable little froakie. 
<laughs> adorable Darmaka. Oh, a cute little blue bluezel, bluezel. Uh, Bound Sweet again. One of the worst haircuts in the world. We've got Mawile from another one of my favorite artists, Arvin. We have got a Spoink. We have got a cute Audino. And then I feel like we got yeah, clay doll, we got it as a reverse. I don't know that we've gotten it as a hollow yet, but either way. Um, we are definitely more than a quarter through the box. <laughs> we are almost halfway through of the box, and... Listen, I want to keep my hopes up, but at the same time, I want to be realistic. I think that dog out there is mad for me as well about the way this box is going. Aw, oh, cute little Toxel. Very nice. Uh, we've got a Charcadet again. We've got a Lycan Rock out out of the, the mid... Is it the midnight form? It's the... Yeah, that one. The nighttime. Oof. This guy. He's one of my many sleep paralysis demons. Can you imagine waking up with that hovering above you? Yikes. Lanoon. It's been a while since I've even thought about or heard about you. I don't think I ever saw you in the game. Uh, let's see, Grieverd. We've got a Ponyard. And then... Another Hollow Toxtricity. You guys, is it that bad? Is everyone getting these kind of pull rates? Or am I just very unlucky? <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of... I've always been of the mindset, you know, like... It would be nice to know that I'm not alone in being this unlucky, but at the same time, I would not want anyone else to feel this way. This is feeling pretty bad. I mean, you gotta throw me a bone, like, maybe once every four packs. Like, not even something crazy, but just, like, one step above a, above a hollow. Please? <laughs> okay, we've got a bear tick. We've got a Grieferd. Again. I don't... I don't know guys, maybe we're going back. Maybe we're going back in time where pull rates are just abysmal. I'm trying to, I feel like people always said that about like X and Y and stuff, and even before that, like black and white and whatnot, pull rates were rough, like really rough. And I feel like in Sun and Moon, they were pretty difficult. Oh my, is this one of my new favorite Clay Bebe cards? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't even like tea. That is just fabulous. Oh, look how sleepy. Oh, so cute. Okay, we've got a Skarmory. We've got Wug Trio, very cute. We have got Darmanitan. We have got a Herdier. Herd, Herd, how do you say it? I guess maybe I've never tried saying his name out loud. Herdier, Herdier, Herd, Herd, no. Oh, of course, it's Hyogonosuke. I was like, who made this beautiful, lovely, amazing card of one of my favorite Pokemon? Cleffa. The weight was worth it, my It's probably like a $2 card, but the weight was worth it, my friends. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Let's go, Double Banger! I figured it couldn't get any better. <sighs> Look how cute. Look how cute. I want a Cleffa in real life. Like, you know, people have, you know, their favorite Pokemon, but like, would you really, you know, like, I love Gyarados, one of my favorite Pokemon. Would I actually want a Gyarados in real life? Probably not. However, a Cleffa in real life? Yeah, I want one. Sure do. Sure do. And then Poppy, she's so cute. She is so cute. I was surprised, at least I don't think I'm making it up, that she didn't have like a Drifloon or something on her team based on the top of her head, but she's so cute. Ah, oh, love it, love it. Nice. Okay, see, that's all it takes is a pack like that every now and then, and I feel so much better. Granted, it could go downhill, downhill, downhill real quick here. I'm having trouble speaking lately, just like in general. <sighs> oh my god. There have just been some cute Pokemon artworks lately. I'm telling you, look at that gorgeous Pidgey. Oh my god. Adorable Combi again from Hyogonosuke. Oh my god. 
There's that one. I don't really want to talk about him. Lunatone. We've got a Dartrix. We have got Oinkalone. We have got a Snubble by Secchio. One of my favorite artists. Gorgeous. We have got a Heatmore. And we have got adorable Toga Kiss again. You are a precious gift. That's for darn sure. All right, it looks like three more packs on the left here. Let's see, we've pulled Dratini and Dragonair. Let's see about a Dragonite. I mean, you're on the card art pack things. You should be in the set. I mean, that's pretty much how Pokemon does it. <laughs> you know, the pack works definitely have to do with what's gonna be in the set. Togemaru looking so freaking cute. Of course, it's a Sekio. What else am I gonna expect here? We've got a Shibuzo artwork with Grievered. We've got Lechonk. I've got a lot of favorite artists <laughs> from the Pokemon TCG. That's for darn sure. Frogadier, when's the last time we've gotten a card of you? Drompa looking creepy AF. Mm -mm. A reverse rare Toxtricity. Let's go for a hit. Look at Blossom. When Blossom came out, oh my god, it was one of my favorites for sure. I loved Blossom, especially in the movie. Ooh. Oh, okay. Sorry, I also got a text. Um, but Absol, okay, again, another one that I don't feel like I've seen Absol in a while, and I wasn't expecting that from this set, um, but I'll take it. It's a nice EX right there. Got Future Sight. I always love seeing when they use the attacks from the actual game, but very nice. I don't know. Absol isn't one of my favorite Pokemon, but I don't dislike it, and I know it's a lot of people's favorite Pokemon, or one of their favorites. So that's exciting. Okay. I just love seeing what there is to offer. I mean, that's one of the hard things. I like doing these blind because it's fun to be able to see the new artworks and stuff for the first time on camera here, but at the same time I do miss knowing what I'm hunting for, yeah? But... <laughs> Can you see my lip quivering? Oh my god. How could you not love this Pokemon? It's just so cute. It's just so Beautiful artwork. Again, another new artist, maybe? Wow, so much talent out there. I tell you what. Um, let's see, we're skipping over my nightmares. I guess that is just fine by me. We've got a Whiskash. We have got a Lunatone. Beautiful. And then a Thunderous again. We're getting a lot of repeat hollows, which is a little rare, I feel like. You know, I feel like in a booster box, maybe I get one, maybe two repeat hollows. But that's gotta be like my third or fourth now. We got the Toxtricity, we got that one doubled. We got the, uh, there was another one. I to, mm. Anywho, is anyone getting any good code cards? I hope so, please don't be greedy. I mean, I know there's always gonna be people out there farming these things, but um, I hope some of you get a chance at these code cards. I hope tossing them in upside down slows people down and gives people a chance here. Um, Espeon? Beautiful! Reminds me of my one of my cats in that picture. It looks like Mina. Okay, beautiful. We have got Floatzel, devolved into Buizel. We've got a Charcadet, and we've got something, my friends. What is that? What is that? I saw the red. I thought I was getting Charizard. Listen, I don't even really care about Charizard that much. I like Charizard, don't get me wrong. I've got memories and all of that of Charizard. He's cool with his little T-Rex arms, always skipping arm day, but like, I mainly just wanna pull the Charizards because they're gonna be so overpriced to buy as singles, okay? That's the reason why I want to pull them. <laughs> Uh, but okay, it's an ice cube. We got one of these cards. I've only pulled one of these cards before and it was the Arcanine back in the base set. So I will take it. I will take it. It's ice cube. Ice cube just isn't one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, but it is, it's cute and I really do. I like when they mix up the typing and whatnot for the terraforms and he looks cute. He looks cute here. So we will, we'll take it. It is a hit. I'm gonna take it. I just... <laughs> They got me all excited making it red and oh, I suppose maybe all of them are gonna be Or I suppose I don't know that there's more than the two the Charizard and an ice Q now I don't know. I guess I would assume there was like a Dragonite or a Tyranitar since they're all over the packaging here, but um, 
I don't know, maybe... If, no, they wouldn't have made them all fire, because Charizard clearly isn't fire typing on the Terra type, and neither is Dragonite or... Okay, well, proven myself wrong. That's okay. I can be wrong sometimes, okay? I don't like it, but I definitely have many moments. <laughs> I'm probably wrong more of the time than I am right. Is that true? I shouldn't be so hard on myself. <laughs> Sometimes it can feel that way though, yeah? Uh, either way, let's see. We've got a young goose. <laughs> Are you trying to mimic the Dratini in the background? That's kind of cute. That's that's pretty cute. Uh, we've got a Bronzor, and then we've got another Sizar. I feel like that's what I hear the most of people pronouncing it here in the Pokemon community online anyways. It's a lot of people pronounce it Sizor. I think growing up when he first came out, I always pronounced it Skizzer? But that just sounds really wrong now that I'm an adult. Would they really name him Skizzer? <laughs> I feel like that's just people making fun of the English language, which, fair. <laughs> the way some of the pronunciations we do here with our lettering choices. But, uh, anywho. Let's see what we can get. Togetic. <laughs> I love Togetic. So cute. Just that whole line. So cute. Are you kidding me? That is gorgeous. I mean, I've never disliked Ninetales, but I don't think I've ever liked Ninetales more. Oh my God. That is so majestic and beautiful. The colors, wow. Oh my God. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, three Gitas. Okay, but this nine tails. Oh, I just spit, I can't help myself. Beautiful. I am shocked that it isn't even a textured one. I mean, this seems like the kind of artwork that they would give a textured card to for the art gallery or whatever. Wow, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's gotta be a high seller. I mean, I don't, I guess, I feel like the, cause I feel like the Tyranitar that I was talking about from a different set, I forget, I think it was from Paldea Evolved. <laughs> Another one of my favorite. I just love the cuties, okay? I can't help it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think that Tyranitar is one of the more expensive, like, cheap, non-textured art gallery cards. Um, and I think it's going for 20, 30 bucks. I could see the Ninetales doing the same. That artwork is just so beautiful. Maybe it won't, okay? I don't know. I don't know how price, I mean, pricing comes about because of supply and demand. So uh, there we go. I have answered my question. Uh, we've got a reverse rock rough. We've got a reverse small live. so cute. And we've got something. set. I mean, obviously, there we got the Pidgey and the Pidgeotto. Now we've got a Pidgeot EX. Okay. All right. Uh, one day, I'll, I'm going to get a Pidgeot tattoo. I'm telling you guys. I've always kind of waffled between, should I get a Gyarados? Should I get a Pidgeot? Like, both would be really cute and cool looking. I mean, honestly, why not both? <laughs> I mean, mainly expensive. Tattoos are expensive. I mean, they're living pieces of artwork, really, in the end. Um, but I would love to get a Pidgeot tattoo. I think I've said, I mean, maybe I would want to do, like, a new artwork, let the tattoo artist do its thing, but I also would just love to get it of the jungle hollow of Pidgeot. I've just always loved that artwork so much, and it's just very nostalgic for me. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe one of these days. I'm, I'm thinking it might work but maybe not to do a cover up of it, gorgeous. Um, or to use it to do a cover up of one of the tattoos I have right now that I don't love. Um, Poltegeist, looking so cute and naked outside of its teapot. Uh, we've got a Toad's Cruel. We have got a Boofalant. <laughs> I can just hear it. Urgh. That is what noise Boofalant makes, right? I actually have no idea. But can't you just see it? Urgh. Are you re regretting watching this video now? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Another freaking Toxtricity, come on. I mean, I of course would prefer something better than a hollow, but if you're gonna throw a hollow my way, let's make it a new one. Yeah, there's gotta be more hollows out there that I still haven't pulled from this set yet. <laughs> yet I'm getting triple Gitas, triple Toxtricities. <sighs> Is it because I made that noise for Bufalant? Come on, come on, don't. Come on. 
just, I'm just being me. God, I love the Umbreon and Espeon in this. Very beautiful. Are you kidding me with this artwork? Are you kidding me? Are those little wingles in the background? I can't really tell. Sure are. <sighs> no words. Nightmares. Why'd you gotta kill the vibe? Eh, eh. Dad bulb. You're so cute. And another freaking ugly toy. But that Lapras, though. Should we talk more about that Lapras, though? Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see. I want to see more of the art cards. I mean, that's really why I'm here anyways nowadays with Pokemon cards. That's the main attraction for me is the art cards. They're just... Uh, I mean, granted, I love the normal artworks too, but it's the art cards that I really want to see. Look at this new art. At least I think it's a new artist. I don't recognize this artwork and it's very stylized, so I would like to think I would remember it, but like so cool. I also love when they give it to an artist where like the connecting Pokemon, you know, the Soul Rock and the Lunatone, like those Pokemon are connected. So they give the artist both of them for the set. I like when they do that. I think that's fun. Uh, we've got a time pull. We've got a normal. Are you kidding me with these triple hollows? I mean, I don't want to get upset. I really don't. But like, that's just kind of a slap in the face. Come on. I don't know that Pokemon actually has control over what goes into a booster box, but to some level they have to. Yeah. Otherwise, some people would be getting boxes. Cheer up, Cassie. Oh my god. Okay, Evie. Okay. Anything for you. But yeah, I mean, at that point, some people would be getting boxes with like 12 gold cards in it if it was completely random. But, uh, so there's gotta be some control over it. But either way, I'm just gonna cheer up. Evie told me to cheer up. It's too cute not to listen. Yep, again. See? Yep. Cheer up, Cassie. I'm on it, Evie. I'm on it. I can't say no to that face. Oh my god, Sao Sao's back again with an artwork like this. I don't even like Drillbur. So cute. And a Scovillain. Okay, well, let's see, my friends. It looks like, I don't know, we've got about 10 packs maybe left, something like that. I can't count from this far away and it's all jumbled like that over there in the box but I don't know maybe 10 ish packs maybe a little more than that maybe like 12 let's see what we can do let's see what we can do oh I think I was trying to say earlier if you get a code card if you are able to get one please let me know what you get even if it's not like anything super exciting I just I love hearing that I think maybe three people have told me what they got for my code cards and it always makes me so happy I'm trying to cheer up and then you had to come along another one of my least favorite pokemon right there <laughs> um but yeah so let me know claude sire i love you love 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 Baldean claude sire. so cute we've got a squovet oh my god <laughs> okay 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 let's see if there's anything it's the four thunderous okay okay Listen, I don't have feelings one way or another about Gita, except just thinking about how many wigs does it take to make up Gita's hair. The world may never know. Someone needs to send the owl to start licking, but uh, that is a gorgeous freaking art card. Gorgeous artwork, looks great. I don't know what Gita's pronouns are, but they look great. Oh my God, beautiful artwork, the colors. <sighs> that's gorgeous oh it's kind of beat up at the top oh well it is what it is gorgeous gorgeous card my goodness oh love it okay I'm feeling better thank you Evie for telling me to cheer up twice I don't remember how many packs ago that was but <laughs> thank you god I need to clear off my desk there's just makeup and crap everywhere i'll be moving soon who knows by the time you guys see this maybe i've already moved i doubt it i'd like to think i'd get it edited quicker than that but <laughs> uh anywho oh we just got a relic card and you're back buddy oh we've got another finizen we've got toga tick again we've got nine tails we've got poltygeist a toad's cool we've got an 
love it. I mean, except for the fact I'm pretty sure that's my third one again. Is anyone else having that kind of luck with their booster boxes? I mean, I don't think I've had that with any previous Scarlet and Violet. Definitely not anything prior to Scarlet and Violet, but certainly not now where I feel like, you know, I've been doubling up quite a bit on hollows and stuff in Scarlet and Violet sets um, in a booster box, but uh, this is especially bad. You guys should let me know if I'm alone in that. I don't know. It just, it doesn't feel good. We're starting to see some new cards though, some new artworks. Love it. That's very nice. We've got a Dartrix. We've got Darumaka. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. You're really gonna waste my full art? Booster box? You're really gonna waste my full art on this. Kathy, I just wanna be loved. Why don't you love me? I just don't, okay? I just don't. I'm sorry. The background's really cool. Can you guys see all the little triangles? I'm just gonna move on. I'm just gonna move on. I need to remind myself, I am just grateful that I am in a position where I get to open up Pokemon cards at all, because I am. At the end of the day, I am very grateful that I get to do this and I get to do it with y'all. It just hurts sometimes. I mean, how many other full arts are there in this set? There's usually at least 10. Sorry, my memory card's filled up, but yeah, that's the one I had to pull. Because I feel like nowadays, that's all you get. You get one full art in a box, and that's that's it. You get five of the same hollows, and you get your one full art. I mean, it just feels not even worth opening up booster boxes anymore. At the same time, since I like to, you know, collect and get a full binder, I mean, I could just buy all the commons and uncommons as singles, but God, that would be tedious. And opening up a booster box is a great way to at least, you know, get your start on that. So I guess it feels kind of worth it to me to keep opening these, but I mean, in general, my God, the value <laughs> just doesn't feel like it's there anymore. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I love Belly Bolt. So cute. Trevenant. Okay, we're getting some new artworks again. That's exciting. We've got a Litwick. We've got a Froki. Is that five now? Including the gorgeous art card? Have I gotten five Gitas in this booster box? I thought this set was supposed to be about Charizard. I'm getting a feeling it's about Gita. Because, uh... Okay, Charmander here to remind me it's not about Gita. <laughs> oh my god, it just feels awful. <laughs> Nose pass. We've got a town store, and we've got something here, my friends. We've got an EX card, I do believe. <laughs> Look at the cutie patootie with the matching electric energy. Yes, I'll take it. A Palmot EX. So cute with his little hands. Little electric hands. Oh, oh. Zap kick. More like zap, I'ma touch you. I'ma touch zap. I'ma punch zap. I would say punch, but you're not making fists. Um, slap zap. Yeah, that's a slap zap. Zap slap. Okay, okay, okay. Pokemon, if you ever want to consult with me about these attacks, I will come up with better ones. In some cases. <laughs> okay, my friends. What, what's left in this box for us? I don't know. Can I get any more art cards? Even, you know, like I said, the basic ones that end up being a buck or two. I just want to see the artworks. I mean, granted, I'll go online and do that after I open this up, but like, I want to see the art cards. Okay, Capsicid. We have got a Phantom, and then Entei! Wow, look at you! Pretty epic card of Entei, very nice. Alright, is that, yeah, we've got four packs left, my friends. Ugh, feels bad. <laughs> it feels bad for many reasons, but let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's see what we've got, if we've got anything good in these last four packs. Can I pull a gold card? Surely there's a gold card that's not Charizard. So, like, I'd love to know what the other gold cards are in this set. Um, oh, 
<laughs> Komia coming through with a light chunk. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and just just good cards. Let's get some good cards. We've got a Carvana. That's an art card. I can't tell who it is. Are we out in the rain? Is that an umbrella in the background? It is an umbrella, but it's not raining. You're just like in a dump. <laughs> Hold on, what do we got behind you? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's really cute, but it makes me sad. Oh, are you guys eating some junkyard apples or berries down there? Oh, guys, I just want you to get adopted. You deserve better than living in the junk. It's a really cute artwork, but like I said, it makes me sad. Aww. Aww. At least they're coordinated. I did say I wanted to see another art card, but I was hoping it would be a little more cheerful. Oh, well, there you go. Be careful what you wish for, right? I think that is an actual saying. Uh, let's take a look. What are you guys' favorite cards from this set so far? I'm sure you've actually looked at the set, so you should let me know uh, what, what you're liking, what you're wanting, all of that good stuff. Charmeleon is back. We've got Excadrill. We've got that gorgeous Pidgeotto. We have got a Cutie Patootie. We have got reverse charmeleon okay and then is that five now it just feels like a slap in the face i don't know maybe i'm whining i, I mean i am whining <laughs> maybe i'm complaining too much though i don't know wouldn't you guys feel let down cute i mean that tongue a little bit yikes but like I feel like that's an old artwork. I feel like I've seen that artwork of Zigzagoon before. Um, anywho, let's see. Trevenant, we have got Lechonk again. So cute. Erica, very reverse, very nice. Oh, 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 what is this? <laughs> no! <laughs> just terrifying <laughs> but okay it's like one of the fancy X cards where they're terrestrialized and it's got the texture and stuff so I guess I'll take it I just I don't even recognize Vespaquen there but I saw the little combi and I got all excited I was like oh look at the cutie patootie and then I remembered what combi turns into because of course we're not gonna get a combi EX uh, but either way there we go I mean it's a hit okay I'll, I'll be excited about a hit I just Ugh. Surely there's like a Dragonite or something of that kind of a card in the set. I would have just preferred something else, but I can't, I shan't complain. Let's all remember the Eevee and cheer up, shall we? We really should, because you're in the trash again. I don't, maybe you like it there. You know, who am I to, you know, I, what is this? I don't want to ick someone else's yum, something along those lines. Oh my God. Shibuzo coming through. Oh my god, that whooper is adorable. Ugh. We've got Dragonair. We've got Armor Rouge. We've got Ortega. We've got Combi. Okay, guys, this is our last chance. Our reverse rare. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Who's ready for a recap? I feel like this is one of the saddest recaps. And this is from a booster box, my friends. It just feels bad. I don't know. Now that hollows aren't counted as hits, it just yikes. I mean, okay. But we did get some stuff, okay? We got some things. Uh, we've got the dark rye. We did get some reverse rares. And by that, I mean we got three. We did. We got three reverse rares. <laughs> We got a few EX cards, and by that I mean maybe like five. Uh, we've got Victini here, we have got the Absol, we have got Pidgeot, very nice. We've got Palmot, and then we've got the fancy Terastalized EX card. Okay, so we did get those cards. We also got a few art cards, we did, of like the, you know, lower tier rarity. We got the Houndor. We got, do you guys say, I always pronounced it Houndor, but I feel like ever since I started watching Pokemon openings on YouTube, most people pronounce it Houndour. 
which probably makes a lot more sense. How do you guys pronounce it? I've probably been pronouncing it wrong my whole life. Oh well, <laughs> but we got that. We got this Cleffa, which like, let's be real, probably one of my favorite pulls from today. <laughs> I just adore this. Um, and we got this gorgeous nine tails. Like, that's a huge highlight of this box. Gorgeous, gorgeous art card. Uh, we also got one of these level rarities of Ice Q EX. I'll take it. Um, we got some full arts as well here. I don't really want to talk about this one too much. We did get the adorable Poppy. Very cute. And then, I'm gonna guess was my best pull of the box is this Gita. It's just beautiful and maybe, hey, it's not gonna be actually worth anything and maybe no one wants it, but I think this is a gorgeous artwork. So I think that's probably the best pull of my box. It just... <sighs> probably one of my worst booster boxes I've ever opened. I don't want to be negative, I don't. It just doesn't feel like I did that great. But who knows, maybe this is how everyone's luck has been with Obsidian Flames. Please let me know in the comments down below. I will of course be doing a binder build video for this one where you'll get to see me organize all these cards and everything and put them into a binder. But for now, this is just what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. And as always, please let me know down below any code cards that you got, um, if you've opened up this set yet? What kind of hits are you getting? Was I actually super unlucky or is this just the luck that it's going to be from here on out for Pokemon? I don't know. Um, so please tell me things in those comments down below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video by giving it a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe and tippity tap that notification bell down below to become a member of my casserole family, be it here on this channel or my main channel. I'd love to have you here, there, and everywhere. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!